I'm MSNBC Steve Kornacki, and I'm bringing my wizardry at the map to American history in a category on the Electoral College. Electoral College, 1200. All righty. Upset over the inclusion of a civil rights plank in the 1948 Democratic platform, Strom Thurmond split the party, capturing four southern states with his Dixiecrat party and nearly helping this Republican defeat Harry Truman. Ben. Who is Dewey? Right. Electoral College, 1600. New York didn't choose its electors in time, and Rhode Island and North Carolina hadn't yet ratified the Constitution. But the vote was otherwise unanimous when every elector cast a vote for George Washington in this year. Ben? What is 1788? Nope. Andrew? What is 1790? Nope. What is 1780? Nope. What is 1789? Ben, back to you. Electoral College 2000. All right. The 1860 electoral map revealed the deep divisions of a country hurtling towards civil war. Abraham Lincoln won the North, the West, and the presidency. Border states went for compromise candidate John Bell. Stephen Douglas carried Missouri. And this incumbent vice president and defender of slavery carried the South. Ben. Who is Breckenridge? Good. Electoral College 800. Thanks, sir. Daily double. And you're pretty close to where you were when you uncovered the first Daily let's, Double. You're at let's try it again. <laughs> okay, you're going to try to double your 1600. Take a listen and take a look. A third party candidate hasn't won a state in a presidential election since 1968, when this American Independent Party nominee carried Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Georgia, and his native Alabama. It was George Wallace. You got him. Electoral College 400. 1972 was one of the biggest landslides in Electoral College history, as Republican incumbent Richard Nixon piled up 49 states, and this anti-war Democratic senator captured only Massachusetts and the District of Columbia, failing to carry even his home state of South Dakota. Ben. Ben. McGovern? McGovern is right. 